In this video I'm going to show you how to do long division using Napier's bones. Long division! Panic! Panic! <laughs> no, it's, as the usual with Napier's bones, you'll find this so easy, you're going to love this. The sum we're going to do is we're going to divide 1, 9, 4, 9, 1 and we're going to divide that by 73. The 19491 is an interesting number, by the way, because you can read it the same both ways. 19491, and what it's called is a palindromic number. But anyway, let's get on with the division. Right, I'm going to write out the division. It'll be slightly different for some of you, because you might not have seen the last wee line. If we go 73 into... One nine four nine one, and I'm going to take a line down at that point, which is something that some of you might not have seen before. We're going to do it slightly differently. Okay. Now comes the bones. We're dividing by seventy-three, so we're going to need a seven bone for the seventy, and we're going to need a three bone for the three. I'm going to put it tight in against a working pad this time. What we need is, we need the 73 times table. How many of you know your 73 times table? <laughs> well, we're using Napier's bones, so you don't need to know your 73 times table. You just get it here. If you look there, 1 gives you 73. 2 gives you 6, 4, 1. 3 gives you 9, add these 2, well, there's only the 1, 2, 1, 9, add these, you get 2, 8 and 1 gives you 9, 2, then we get 5, we've got 6, and we've got 3, the 5 and 1 give you the 6, we've got 8, we've got 1 and 2 gives you 3, and we've got the 4, We've got a 1, 9 and 2 gives you 11, 1 carry 1 gives you 5, 1, 1, 4, 6 and 2 is 8, and 5, and 7, 3 and 2 gives you 5, and 6. And that is your 73 times table. So we're ready to begin. So all you're looking, you're really only looking at the first two numbers there and looking at them compared with the 194 there. What's the biggest number that we've got here less than 194? And you'll see that it's 146. And 146 is two of them. So we write the 146 there and we've got two of them. So put the two there because we're going to total this up in the end. Well, there isn't just uh, two of them because we've actually still got zero, zero, so that's 200. Right, so we, know, we now know we've got 273s in there. We've got to see how much more we've got. So we take away and we've got one, nine, got to break that one down to an eight and leaving 14 giving you eight. Four from the eight gives you four and we're left with 4,891. We now do the same again and we look down to see what's the lowest one less than 4,000, uh, less than the 489. And we see you get 438 there, so we write 438. How many was that? It's 6. So put the 6 in there. But there isn't just 6 because there's another 0 in there, so there was actually 60 of them. We now do a wee subtraction. We get 1. 8 from 9 is 1. 3 from 8 is 5. And now we look down and find the, less, the one less than 511. Oh! And we see that 511 is exactly 7. So we put the 511 there, that gives you the 7, leaving us with nothing. So our answer is 267.
Bet you never thought that long division could be quite as easy as that. The next one we'll do, we'll do one that's even more complicated. Right, now we're going to do a giant long division. We're going to do 2,268,072 divided by 578. Bet he didn't think you'd be involved in a division this big, but we're using Napier's bones, so you must by this stage realise that this is not going to be that difficult. We're going to have to write out the sum though, so that's going to be big. So we're going to have to go 578 into 2,268,072 and we do this big line down the side. Now to get the bones out, we're dividing by 578. So we need a 5, a 7, and an 8, and then we're going to, oops, we're upside down. Then we're going to pull them into the side so we can get our tables. So our tables are bigger this time, so we're going to have 5, 7, 8. The next one we've got 6, 4 and 1 is 5, 1 and 1 for the two times table, make sure they're up a bit level. Then we've got four, three, two and five, seven, one. Next one we've got two, eight and three is eleven. One onto the two gives you three, two. Next one we've got zero for the fives. Four, fives, nine. Three and fives, eight and two. Next one we've got an 8, 4 and 2 is 6, 4 and 0 is 4, and we've got a 3. Next one we've got a 6, 5 and 9 is 14, 4 carry 1 on to 9 gives you 10, so that gives you 4. Next one 4, 6 and 6 is 12, 1 on to the 5 6, and we've got a 4, and the last one 2, 3 and 7 is 10. Nothing gives you 1 on to 11, gives you 12, and that gives you, and we're ready to do our division. Look for the biggest number that's uh, smaller than, uh, we're going to go with four numbers, 2268, and you'll see that it's 3 there. Right, so we put the one, seven, three, four, and that was three. So you put the three in there. You've got three zeros because we're multiplying by a thousand, so that means our first number is three thousand. Do your takeaway, you've got two, seven, zero, four, three. Break that down and you've got five. So now we're looking at the 5, 3, 4, 0, and we can go for the 9. I put that in slightly out there, which we're going to, need to watch. Whoops. So you see the 9, and we've got 5, 2, 0, oh, 2. So we put 5, 2, 0, 2, and we put the 9 there, and put the two zeros in. It gives you 900. Take away, and you've got 2, 7, Got to break that one down, Oops. and you get eight, three, one. Now we've got one, three, eight, seven. So we've got the two there. So that's one, one, five, six. That was two. So we add zero. Take away again. We've got two, one, three, two. Look down through for. And you'll see two, we get exactly this time, 2312 is the 4. So we're taking away 2312, which is 4, and we get 0. So our final answer is 
3,924. Easy, would you not say? Again, this is, it's extremely easy. Have a wee practice with your Napier's bones. Build them up, try them out. We can even do square roots. Bet you never thought it was possible, but have a look at the video and you'll see how you can do square roots without a calculator using Napier's bones.